of Albuquerque is releasing its latest plan to revitalize downtown. It focuses on tackling crime and bringing more business to the area. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live downtown with details. Well, Kim, today Mayor Tim Keller acknowledged all of the different plans, projects, and initiatives that have been in place to bring new life to downtown. So we asked him, what's different about this one? These aren't one off efforts. This is going to be a plan for the ongoing future that is integrated with uh, the businesses and with the city. He says the downtown forward plan cohesively brings together big projects like the rail yards and rail trail with the fundamentals like bringing more entertainment, housing, sustainability, and safety. It includes projects we've covered like bringing CNM film classes to the rail yards, the new downtown public safety on center on Central and 4th, and a program that would convert unused commercial office spaces into residential units by 2025. But the plan also brings some new initiatives. The city is doing another round of storefront grants, giving an additional $500,000 in funding to small businesses with plans for downtown. The city says it's also having more art events downtown and will be cracking down on crime. If you come downtown to commit crimes, if you come downtown to disrupt people's socialization, disrupt economic development, we will take you to jail. It's that simple. The city says it is working on adding a million dollars worth of lighting into problem areas downtown and expanding its block by block program into the evening hours. It's also working with owners of parking lots to reduce crime in those spaces and create and revitalize the space rather than just having an empty lot. Now, in downtown last year, the city removed about 9,200 graffiti tags, cleaned up 198 homeless camps, and the Albuquerque Community Safety Department responded to 166 calls for. Service. They expect all of those numbers to be even higher this year. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Annalisa. Now, code enforcement will also conduct bi monthly sweeps to identify violations and will find property owners illegally boarding up windows.